Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to talk about how to factorize polynomials using complex numbers. Now, before we go through with this, I just want to make sure that you guys have some prerequisite knowledge. So prerequisite number one is factorizing quadratics. So e.g. you should be able to factorize y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. So the answer to that is y equals x plus 2 times x plus 4 where each of these brackets are the factors of this polynomial. So if you don't understand how to do that, then please uh, go back and have a look at my algebra tutorials. Second prerequisite uh, is you need to be able to understand the difference of two squares formula. So you should be able to understand why um, a squared minus b squared equals uh, a minus B and a plus B right so if you don't understand how to go from here to here um, you probably need to know that before doing this tutorial the third prerequisite is you need to understand the concept of completing the square so for example if I give you a quadratic equation let's use something similar to the above so instead of x squared plus 6x plus 8 let's say I give you x squared plus 6x plus uh, 20 okay you should be able to use completing the square and um, make this x squared plus 6x plus uh, 3 half of 6 is 3 3 squared is 9 plus 9 minus 9 plus 20 which will give you y equals um, x plus 3 squared uh, so this section turns into x plus 3 squared and then you you have 20 minus 9 which is plus 11 remaining so if you understand everything here then you should be able to carry on with this tutorial okay so the question so the question is factorize z squared plus 6z plus 20 and because I have already summarized all the techniques that you need to use it actually becomes really easy so the first thing you're going to do is complete the square so you're going to make it equal to z squared plus 6z plus 9 minus 9 plus 20 so I have inserted this little section here now I can factorize this bit here using the uh, complete the square technique so then this becomes uh, z plus 3 squared and then this section here becomes 20 minus 9 which is plus 11 okay so I have completed the square but it hasn't been completely factorized so to factorize this I'm now going to use the technique difference of two squares and I'm going to rewrite the second term as a square number so how do you do that well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert after the 11 I squared right because um, I squared is equal to negative 1 so I can insert it after the term 11 if I change this plus sign into a negative sign right if I change the plus to a negative then the I squared is negative 1 negative times negative becomes positive 
which is what it was before right so therefore I'm going to uh, rewrite this plus 11 as negative 11 I squared and then I can rewrite the um, negative 11 I squared as something squared okay so what should I put inside the bracket well I, I'm gonna put in the square root of 11 which is just that square root of 11 and the square root of I squared which is just I right so negative 11 I squared equals negative bracket square root of 11 I uh, squared so to show you why this is equal to this if I go square root of 11 I squared then that's square root of 11 I times square root of 11 I so that just becomes square root of 11 times square root of 11 is 11 I times I is I squared so that's why these two things are equal okay now I can use the difference of two squares formula which is over here so if I do that then this becomes z plus 3 uh, plus square root of 11 I so that's a and that's B so a plus B and then the second bracket I'm going to have a minus B which is Z plus 3 minus square root of 11 I okay so that completes the factorization of this polynomial uh, using complex numbers okay hope you guys enjoyed it see you next